Okay, quick wrist lock grip tutorial, and here we go. First things first, I'm going to start looking at my watch, going palm up to start caving in my opponent's thumb. Once that thumb is out of the picture, we can get straight to business. See that? Caving in his thumb. Just by looking at my watch, looking at my wrist, you will notice his thumb starts to collapse underneath your palm. And that's what you want to catch. Make him make the number four, not the five. Okay, next step. After we've caved in the thumb, now it's time to bend the wrist. And not only that, we're also going to wrap it. Okay. Strong wrists are really hard to break, so we're going to have to create some sort of bend. Usually a strong chop with the blade of our wrist will do just that. But now that we have the wrist bent, it's important to bookmark our place and wrap it. So I'm going to go underneath my own arm, grab my bicep like a rear naked choke, and try to get as close to the crevasse of my elbow as possible. Okay, next thing. As I'm doing all three steps, I'm also going to be making sure that I'm using my entire hand. Curl your fingers around the top of your opponent's hand. Do not let your fingers hang out. That's an easy escape for your opponent. He could easily use his free hand to push those fingers away and be scot-free. No way, no sir, not on my watch. No thank you. Okay, so again, we're doing all four steps now at the same time, at the same time. Okay, easy. Make them make the number four. Don't forget that, very important. Oh, one last thing. After we get the lock, make sure to bring his wrist to his shoulder, creating downwards pressure towards the direction that his elbow is pointing. And make sure you're squeezing here. Shrug your shoulders. Squeeze that bad boy. Take it home with you. Once you get it once, don't let him have it back. Okay? That's it.